and talk about icing on the cake. The buyers that buy in this Sanford neighborhood are gonna make a ton of money on these homes. So on the exterior here, I love the aesthetics of this place. They did add stone skirting around the bottom to give it that little bit of depth to the exterior experience here. You have vinyl siding along with black gutters to really give some contrast. It's on a slab foundation, which is great for energy efficiency and keeping those utility bills low. You don't have a crawl space that's getting to 140 degrees in the summer and getting cold in the winter. And so that helps to keep those low. And you've got some privacy built in back here with some area that they're going to leave as woods so that you don't have a backyard that butts right up against another house. So how are buyers going to make a bunch of money with a house like this? It's because communities like this are great for first time home buyers or anybody who doesn't plan to stay in the home for a long time. It's a community where new construction is being built. There are future phases that are going to be built that are going to push the value up even further. And it's in a perfect location near US-1, near the hospital, near downtown Sanford. You can go to Southern Pines, you can go to Raleigh, you can get all those places really, really quickly. And that's really convenient. And that's going to be great for home values in the future. So you can buy this house, you can live in it for a few years. And I've seen it firsthand with other Smith Douglas Homes communities. We've helped clients buy, turn around two and a half years later, sell the property for an $80,000 profit. No, no taxes because of the capital gains tax exclusion. So that's a really, really solid strategy for that move up buyer to use this house as sort of a stepping stone. So when you walk in the front door, you have a dining area off to the right. I can also see this as somewhat of a flex space. Even though it's open to the kitchen, you wanted to turn that into an office or a play room or a homeschool room, you definitely could. Walk down the hallway, you'll pass the garage entrance on your left and you'll walk into the open concept living, dining, kitchen area. This is set up so that this can be a living area. You can have eat-in portion right here at the counter um, for breakfast. And then there's enough space in between the living room and the island or peninsula here for you to put a dining table. We've got a tile backsplash, granite countertops, nice shaker cabinets here, and you have a pantry located right beside the refrigerator. One thing cool about Smith Douglas Homes is you've got the option right now of homes that are fully customizable. They have some of the most options available out of the new builds in our area, or they have move-in ready houses like this one where everything's already picked out and it's all ready to go. You'll walk off the back porch and you have a covered back porch back here. Pretty nice to have a covered back porch on a spec build right now. A lot of times all you get is a concrete slab. Um, so it's nice to have that on the back of this house. And then off of the living area, you have the master bedroom, which is spacious enough for a little seating area, a bed, furniture. All of those things could probably fit into this room. And you'll also notice that you've got plenty of storage here with a nice big walk-in closet that is big enough for husband and wife is in her clothes i think at least and off of the master bedroom we have the ensuite of course where we have his and her sinks in the master bedroom and we have a tile shower um, that makes this thing pretty well appointed as well as the water closet as we wrap up in the master bedroom you'll also notice we've got the linen closet there for extra storage uh, I'll take you upstairs in this house. And this is a good time to talk about the fact that Smith Douglas Homes has an excellent price point for the house that they bring. There is definitely an opportunity to buy a house here, use it as a stepping stone, sell it in a few years as Sanford appreciates. We've done it with other clients in the past where they'll buy one of Smith Douglas Homes properties and they'll hold on to it for a couple of years and then sell it and take advantage of that capital gains tax exclusion and use that money to kind of parlay or go into another home. We've got first floor laundry room here, which is nice and spacious uh, for your washer, dryer, and a little bit of storage. We have a powder room on the first floor. And then now we will take this thing upstairs to check out the rest of the bedrooms that are not on the first floor. So we have the first floor master, and then upstairs we have additional bedrooms, a little loft area up here that you could probably stick a desk or something in. Got some additional storage, two storage closets up here that are pretty good size to give you some options for storing things like linens and, and whatnot. But that little loft area there, you know, I could see it putting a desk there or a bookshelf, or something to that effect for like a teenager homework space. The cool thing about this one is you have two suites. This is another sort of suite. It's not the master suite, it's smaller than the one on the 
bottom floor, but it does have a walk-in closet. It's got a tray ceiling and it has its own ensuite bathroom. So if you got that first child who, you know, is entitled to get the first pick of the rooms, this would probably be the space for them. Or if you're in a multi-generational living space where you've got parents living with you or kids living with you that are grown, this is pretty cool that you got two masters. Then we have two more bedrooms. That brings it to three upstairs with the master on the first floor. And they share this bathroom that is off of these two bedrooms. So you have nice big space here, space for a little stool for kind of a vanity and makeup area along with a tub shower combo. And then we have the last two bedrooms, which we'll show you. Well, I also tell you that one of the coolest things about this whole community is its location. I can't tell you how many buyers we get that tell us, hey, I wanna be in Lee County close to US-1 so we can get to Raleigh really easy. And this is about as close to US-1 as you can get without being on US-1. You also have easy access via Carthage Street to downtown Sanford, so it's a really, really sweet spot. And it's a great product for that first time home buyer or somebody who's really planning to purchase a home and not stay in it forever.